<laughs> and we are live right now, ladies Very and gentlemen. surprising. I am Bryant Mumble, and I am joined by John Maddening it's here. It's true. We, what a day. What a day. It has been a lot of fun. Welcome to the second semifinal here. We know the championship matchup. We know yeah. the first competitor in that. We're going to find out who the second derby. competitor is. Yeah, Gotham Girls Roller Derby is going back to the championships yet again. Uh, today has seen the knocking out of the second seed in the North Central, then the second seed in the West, then the first seed in the North Central, then the second seed in the East, and finally just knocked out Texas, the first seed in the South Central. So we are taking on here Kansas City versus Ole, and that is the number one seed in the West versus the number two seed in the South Central. So it's entirely possible we could ha not have a Western team in the championship bout for the first time in years. It has been several years. 2008 was the last time that happened when Gotham took the whole thing. And uh, in 2007, Kansas City was the, the champion. In 2009, Ole was the champion. So we're going to see our first two-time champion this year. As we see our teams being introduced, Kansas City being welcomed to the track right now. Why don't we go through their roster, John, Absolutely. John Maddening? Absolutely. Number zero, Eclipse. 111 is Annie Mall. 2012 is Evolution. 244, Bruise Her. Number 26, Bella Fire. Number 30, Hall Balls. Number 34, Case Closed. Number 4, Young. <laughs> Number 5, 44, Damsel of Detention. Number 47, Shady O'Dread, Minnesota, former Minnesota Roller Girl. Number 5, Trauma. Number 59, Archie Lee. Number 816, Jade Lightning. And number 84, Tough Noogies. And a someone not on that roster is Track Rat. Yeah. She was not on the roster. She was a little banged up in the Windy City game, and we do not see her on the roster. No, she got for she this got match. swapped out with Shady O'Dread. Yes. Uh, we saw her a little uh, favoring one leg for. Uh, it seems like I'd a knee a, injury. Yeah, a majority of that last bout. So hopefully she's okay. She's on the mend. Her team is 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 keeping on keeping on. They have two more games to go. They're going to play either for first or for third. And, but, but we got this going on here. Look at this. So let me quickly oh go through goodness. the Oli's lineup here. We got number three, Adamatrix. Number two, Sassy. Number 28, Blonde and Bitchin. 29 is Reddick to Rumble. Two ton is Heffa. Two times is Scared to Death. We got Stella Italiana. Number 30, number 300 is Hard Times. 33 is a Little Tonka. Four by four is Wheel Her. Five, two, three is Liquor and Split. Number seven is Honey. Hockey Honey. And Tannibal Electors, number nine. And number nine, one, one is Intended. Anger. On the Dr. Hauschka jam line, starting off number three for Oli, Adam Matrix. She's going up against number four for Kansas City, Kelly Young. The Oli Rollers wearing the brown with white trim, and the Kansas City Roller Warriors wearing white with red trim. This is the second time these teams have matched up. The first time was in June this year. Oli came out on top in that one 169 to 88 so it's it so i would say Oli would be the favorites <laughs> in this one being they did play earlier this year and we are underway in this semi-final match of the 2011 championship tournament adam matrix right to the front right away just having to get past number 25 i'm sorry the number 26 bell of fire She's holding the front line pretty well against her. Meanwhile, Kelly Young stuck at the back of the pack, having a hard time getting through, getting past Hockey Honey. And the pack gets spread out. We have a lead jammer. Adam Matrix gets first lead jammer status for the Oli Rollers. And she's through, and she keeps on keeping on. Now the rest of the Oli Rollers are going to keep on here. They're going to keep on trying to recycle up to the front of the pack. But zero right at the front, or at the back there. That's Eclipse. She is trying to keep them separated. So Kelly Young charging up on the back of the pack. That's going to force Adam Matrix to call off the jam there. Ooh. So one point. One point for Ole. First blood is first blood, <laughs> I say. So one point lead there for Ole. We got a one point game. Speaking of Adam Matrix, Adam Wheels are the official wheel of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Adam Wheels. As we line him up again, we're going to see number 30 for the Ole Rollers, Stella Italiana. And she will be up against Case Closed 
for the Kansas City Roller Warriors. She was a lot of fun in that last game, a couple just just two games ago. Uh, she just was was really tearing it up against Wendy. Well, let's see what she does here. She's taking an outside line. Still Got away at the back, but now making a charge. Both of them making a charge, and she's through. Case closed is your lead jammer for Kansas City. Let's see what Kansas City can do, see if they get their first points on the board. Stella Italiana knocked out there, coming back in. That was Bruiser. Bru yep. So case closed now, scoring the first points here for Kansas City. Got a pretty good wall going at the front. We got getting a little assistance from Annie Mall. And she's through, picks up. Grand slam for and Kansas City. And Little Tonka is going to go to the penalty box for blocking two blockers in the penalty box for Ole right now. So case closed, racking up some points. She's on her second scoring pass here. And she calls off the jam, but one point for Stella Italiana. Yeah, she just kept on through. She wasn't giving up there, and she wanted to make sure she got at least a point on the board. So, but we Scores do get it stands. Holy Rollers at two, Kansas City at five. So we're going to line them up again. We've got Jade Lightning for the Kansas City Roller Warriors, and that is Liquor and Split for the Holy Rollers. Two blockers down for Holy. We'll see if Kansas City can take advantage of the two blocker situation here. Kansas stops, San City stops on the pivot line, allowing their jammer through. Oh, but Ole got through as well. Down, up, liquor and split, trying to make it through. It's pushed back, pushed to the outside. Gets back up now at the back of the pack, allowing Kansas City to get your lead jammer status, Kansas City. As Liquor and Split clears the pack as well. So this will likely be a hit it and quit it kind of situation. All right, so folks, go ahead. Calls it off. That's right, folks. We know that the uh, the scores the scoreboard is down. We'll try to keep you updated as much as we can. There are just over 26 minutes left in this first half. Kansas City leads seven to the Ole Rollers two. Both teams have their full allotments of timeouts, or times out as it were. And we have a change of fortune there. Kansas City now has two blockers in the penalty box. Derby for all is experienced. Derby skaters getting you to the right, getting into, into the right gear to take you to the next level. Derby for all. And our next jam is underway. We're going to see Adam Matrix out there for the Ole Rollers and number 30, Hall Balls. It's a palindrome jam, number 30 <laughs> against number 03. And Adam Matrix. It's lead jammer status for the Ole Rollers. Well, two Adam Matrix jams, two Adam Matrix lead jams for Ole. So some nice blocking out there for Ole right now. Tainable Lecter holding that front line, actually holding off Hall balls. Oh, look at that. Pushes a whole, whole host of girls to the outside, cuts through, picks up the grand slam. Blonde and bitchin' with a nice shot there on Hall Balls. Gets pushed to the back again and goes around town the outside. And knocked down there in turn two. Has to get up, has to try it again, try to get through that entire pack again. Eclipse and Evolution trying to hold off Adam Matrix, but she's going to get through. Going to be another a scoring pass there for the Ole Rollers. They put up five, so we've got a tie game, 7-7 seven to seven right now with 24 minutes and 25 seconds to go. Yeah, Hall Balls was coming up just on the back of the Ole Pack, but just short of calling it. Actually, I'm sorry, 12 points for the Ole Rollers, another five points awarded. You can let Vanilla Derby take you to success with our leather renegade and straight jacket boots, Vanilla Derby. The penalty box appears to be empty right now as we see Kelly Young, number four, for Kansas City against Stella Italiana for the Ole Rollers. This jam has begun. We're at 10 seconds into the jam. Looks like we have our graphics back up. And Kelly Young with some momentum here. Can she stay in bounds? But Stella oh. Italiana gets lead jammer status. Very good. Stella Italiana just making sure there was a whole bit of a, of a scrum up front. 
and she just kind of went around it while, the, uh, while her teammates were taking care of the KC Jammer. Two-ton heifer able to ride uh, Kelly Young out of bounds, and Kelly Young has to come in behind her. So nice block by two-ton heifer. As Stella Italiana now on a scoring pass. Back of the pack there, trying to make it through. Taking it slow, not, not, <laughs> not doing anything super crazy. Gets pushed to the inside. Oh, big, big, nice big hit there. Evolution with the shot there, ends the jam, but five points awarded to the Ole Rollers and Stella Italiana. I think she'll take it. She'll take a hit if she can get five points. Outside the lines is a new kind of t-shirt at the Spenlin booth or at spenlinmedia.com. Outside the lines. So now we're gonna see Adam Matrix once again for the Ole Rollers. And she'll be up against Case Closed. The penalty box remains empty. Clean skating thus far. At a matrix, this is her third jam. She scored 10 points so far for Ole. This jam has begun. We're 10 seconds in, and now we're underway. At a matrix, making it, trying to get through that whole pack there. And, and she does. her way through. Gets through. Lead jammer status for Adam Matrix. She's roaring around. Ole doing a nice job holding off case closed right now. Case closed, having to deal with four Oles up at the front. Trying to get a little bit of assistance there from Trauma. Oh! There was a big, big, I think that low block down. Yep, low block there. On uh, number 911, intended anger. So Adam Matrix has gotten through on a scoring pass. Case close has cleared on her initial, so Adam Matrix here, she's gonna hit the pack quick. Let's see how she plays it. She gets taken down, she calls it off. Did she do so before Case Close scores? No, Case Close scored three points. So nice hustle and by two, Kansas City. And two for Ole, it looks like. Have you been smacked by RollerGirlSkates.com yet? If you're here, you can stop by their booth to play or just hit RollerGirlSkates.com. I don't like getting smacked. Well, I guess you haven't been smacked then yet. We got a replay. Look at Adam Matrix get right through that pack. Very sweet. So we line them up again. We've got liquor and split out there for the Ole Rollers in the brown and white trim. And we got Jade Lightning up here for Kansas City. This jam is underway. We're waiting to cross that line, that red line right there. And the pack's about to be split, and it is. Second jam of the night for Jade Lightning. She scored two points. Third jam of the night for Liquor and Split. She scored one. Whoa! Way out there, almost getting into the barriers, but she remains upright. Nice hit by Bruise Her of Kansas City. As Liquor and Split, though, with quick feet, she gets back into the fray. She's got one blocker to beat up front. Getting some help from Blonde and Bitchin. We and got a lead jammer. 20 foot rule. There she goes. Had to let her through. Not too happy about it. Bella Fire. Liquor and split. Your lead jammer making her way around. As Jade Lightning still on her initial pass. Look at that four wall from Ole just holding up the entire pack. And Animal has come back in from the box. So both teams are at full strength right now. I uh, spoke too soon. And that's number 44. Damsel of Detention getting sent to the box. So Ole is up by one blocker. And we get five points awarded to the Ole Rollers as Liquor and Split gets through the pack. And Jade Lightning clears the pack on her initial pass. So we're gonna get one more pass here from Liquor and Split. Kansas City controlling the front though, gonna make it a little bit more difficult. They're kind of on the run now. They're able to pick up the speed, see if their jammer can catch the pack and keep the pressure on. Teams are tied now with one blocker each in the box. Hockey Honey and Damsel of Detention. Damsel of Detention has about 30 seconds left when this jam start, when this next jam will start. And Liquor and Split's gonna call off the jam and reset it. They are in the lead here, 29 to 11 in favor of the Ole Rollers. Stella Italiana up here against Hall Balls, 30 versus 30 for your jammers. For those of you watching at home who are unfamiliar with these two teams, Oli is in the brown with white trim. 
and the Kansas City Roller Warriors are in white with red trunks and red trim. Hannibal Lecter is going to establish the pack speed so we can get underway here for Ole and very nice, yes. nice inside move there by Stella Italiana, taking it really easy. And Hannibal Lecter with a nice block, recycling hall balls all the way to the back of the pack. As Stella Italiana goes through, has to make up with, with three Kansas City Roller Warriors up at the front. She's kind of stymied right now, stuck a little bit. And this, is, this is the fifth lead jam in a row for Ole. Hall balls, clears on. Oh, yes, she does now clear. Hannibal Lecter had a little more fight in her. <laughs> As Evolution going to the penalty box. All right, remember, folks, you can talk to us by the Twitters, the Tweety Box. Remember that hashtag is talk to the number two. Woofdada, that's W F T D A. Talk to W F T D A. And maybe we'll read your tweet on the air. We see two blockers in the penalty box, one from each team. One of those is Wheel Her from the Ole Rollers, the other one, Evolution from Kansas City. And we're underway here. Kelly Young for Kansas City gets through for lead jammer status. Adam Matrix way at the back of the pack having trouble, but Ole pushes inside, pushes the rest of that pack inside to try and get let her through. But then, <laughs> but then Adam Matrix cuts inside, not taking the easy way, taking the difficult way, making it through. She Adam made it Matrix. look easy though. Staying on one skate, smooth and stable. But that allowed Kansas City to pick up four points, four quick points. That's going to bring them up. Holy Rollers now lead 32, Kansas City 15. We're going to see a replay here. I believe this is st the start of the last jam. How quickly Kelly Young got through that pack. Bam. Before she hit the pivot line. <laughs> wow. All right, number 34. That's case closed once again for Kansas City. And she's going up against Wheeler for Ole. No, it's Tannibal Lecter, actually. Oh, pardon me. Goodness gracious, I'm looking at the wrong thing. It's quite all right. <laughs> there's a lot of things. There's a lot of There's lots of paper blinking and things. computers in front of us. It's ridiculous. We hear the wolf pack in the crowd, Kansas City's theme this year. They've adopted the wolf pack mentality. As we have a lead jammer for the Ole Rollers, Tannibal Lecter. And some nice defense in the pack from Ole. Hockey Honey making her presence known in there. Kansas City back up to full blocker strength now, but they're away at the back. And Case closed. Case closed, still trying to make it through three Ole blockers. Oh. <laughs> there goes Tannibal Lecter. Cuts through, gets five points, gets that jammer lap point for the Grand Slam. Heifer has skated all the way around on the infield. She, that was a little strange. I've never yeah. seen someone do that. She went around the infield and then back to the back of the pack, and now she rejoins the pack. Uh, Tannibal Lecter on another scoring pass here as the Ole Rollers have stymied case closed at the back of the pack. Five more points for the Ole Rollers. Now that is six grand slams for Ole so far this game. Zero for Kansas City. And Sassy finally loses the battle to Case Close. She did pretty well out there holding her off. But Tannibal Lecter threw one more time. Was that a 14-point chance, John Manning? I believe you are right. And Heifer is going to head to the box for a track cut. We're going to see the replay here of Tannibal Lecter cutting through that pack. <laughs> oh, my goodness finding the very narrow gaps to get through. All right, Stella Italiana once again jamming for Ole up against Jade Lightning, number 816 for Kansas City. And the jam has begun in scrum fashion. Both jammers trying to push their way through. Not a lot of room out there right now. Oh, but Stella Italiana finds a hole and makes it through. Lead jammer status for Ole and for Stella Italiana. So now Kansas City goes on the offensive and gets Jade Lightning through the pack. 
three on three in the pack right now. As Stella Italiana takes an outside line and a nice cut around the two wall at the front of the pack. Gets through, extending the lead for the Ole Rollers. When you're looking for the world's most powerful video processing solutions, you have to look no further than Elemental Technologies, another proud sponsor of the WFTDA Big Five. We'd like to say hello to the Light City Derby out of Adelaide, Australia, cheering their heads off <laughs> as they're watching this match on WFTDA.com. Kelly Young making another jamming appearance for Kansas City, but oh wow, look at that, <laughs> Adam Matrix showing she's not the only one out here that can play, look at that. So quickly through that pack, and she's making her way around. Kelly Young about a third of a track behind her, trying to make up some difference here. Kansas City has claimed the front of the pack, gonna keep the pressure on, make it a little bit more difficult for Adam Matrix. Adam Matrix relying on her defense as Kelly Young hits the pack, she is scoring. And Adam Matrix calls it off. One point for Kelly Young and three points for Adam Matrix. After that jam, that makes nine lead jams for Ole and three for Kansas City. You can stop by the Dr. Hauschka booth if you're here or just stop by Dr. Hauschka and check out their amazing bruise healing and skincare products. Dr. Hauschka is the WFTDA's official bruise healer. You can lose the bruise with Dr. Hauschka. We're seeing a new jammer out there for the Ole Rollers. It's hard at times, number 300. She's up against Jade Lightning for Kansas City, who's been in the regular rotation for the team in white. And both jammers trying to squeeze their way through the pack. We got a wall up at the front of Brown holding off Jade Lightning. Evolution trying to break it up. Nice block by Tannibal Lecter, recycling Jade Lightning to the back of the pack. Actually, she took a minor track cut, cutting on Tannibal Lecter. Eclipse doing an excellent job, kind of a one-woman army. Oh, there we go, once again, just pushing her to the inside, pushing the outside, knocking her down. That's Eclipse for the Kansas City Roller Warriors. Meanwhile, Blonde and Bitchin pounding away on Jade Lightning at the front of the pack. And Blonde and Bitchin go to the penalty box there. So Jade Lightning clears. She is not your lead jammer, though. So hard time still has a chance to get lead jammer status, but not it. Evolution taking out a blocker, Little Tonka. Huge hit from the, from Evolution on another blocker. Yeah, she's having a little, a little bit of trouble, but Oli is not in trouble. Oli is still ahead by a good almost 40 points. So it's, it's, it's a good time to still try something new. They know they have another game tomorrow. Five big roller derby points for Kansas City. That's Jade Lightning. And she's gonna go for more as Hard Time still on her initial pass. Takes another hit from Evolution, but it's a penalty on Evolution. She's gonna take a trip to the Sin Bin. And everyone just comes to a standstill. She's up near the front, but no, gets pushed into the inside. Has to go to the back, hard times, all the way to the back of the pack. Still has not made it through her first time. And Tannable Lecter tangling with Jade Lightning face to face. Tannable Lecter winning the battle so far. Hard times, gets through, gets lead jammer status, calls off the jam. But five more points awarded to the Kansas City Roller Warriors, trying to na narrow that gap, 53 to 26. Nine minutes, 47 seconds remaining in this first half. We just saw that huge hit from Evolution. We had a replay. That was a good hit there. Derby Supply is the best customer service in the business, period. Derby Supply. So now we're going to see Liquor and Split out there. And the transfer from Cincinnati for the Kansas City Roller Warriors. Number five, Trauma. Recent transfer from the Black Sheep out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And the pack starts slowly. Trauma playing defense as a jammer. Perhaps they're trying to get Evolution out of the pack. Liquor Split seems to be content with just standing there for a little while. Yeah, and at one point she just put her hands on her hips like, what? Come on, guys. I'm okay with this, but Trauma gets lead jammer status. And the place erupts here. Tons of fans up on their feet going, yes, that's amazing. It's always, it's always interesting to see when these, uh, when more and more teams are knocked out, who cheers for who after they're knocked out. 
There's alliances out there in the pack, <laughs> out there in the crowd. As the Oli Rollers trying to get liquor and split around the pack. But Trauma's going to call it off there. She scores three points for the Kansas City Roller Warriors. And going to bring them up to 29 to Oli's 53, so 24 points between these two teams right now. We had a question on Twitter. Someone wants to know why the current jammer for Kansas City, why do we call her Kelly Young and not Snot Rocket, her derby name? Well, she retired a few years back. For She left for a year, and she came back, and she went with the name uh, Kelly Young. She wanted to go real name. It's her given name, and she's she has that right. I thought it was just a joke that I didn't get. <laughs> and we got a lead jammer at a matrix for the Oli Rollers. This is her sixth jamming appearance. She scored 20 points so far. She's going to try and rack up some more here. Kelly Young not giving up there. Still at the front of the pack there. Trying to get it through. Trying to make through. And outside 20 feet, Blonded Bitchin has to let her go. There she goes. Uh, she got recycled back in, though. And a matrix trying to on her scoring pass here at the back of four. Gets past one. Up at that three wall up at the front. And that's going to be the end of that. So one more point for the Oli Rollers. That's 21. Blackjack for Adam Matrix. Jaden Lightning leads Kansas City 12 with 12 points. Once again, Adam Matrix now with 21. Cannibal Lecter has given Oli 14 and Stella Italiana with 13. Now we're going to see Jade Lightning giving it a go for Kansas City up against Stella Italiana. Giving it a go for the Oli Rollers. But we are currently under a bit of a delay, I believe. You know, Blood and Thunder magazine issue number 18 and World Cup tickets are available at the Blood and Thunder booth. You can also check out Blood and Thunder magazine online. You can get a subscription and you can just chat about Derby with Blood and Thunder magazine. Looks like a timeout was called by the Kansas City Roller Warriors. We're going to get a jammer substitution here. Kelly Young going to come out again. I believe that's back-to-back. -back. That's 11 lead jams for only four for Kansas City right now. The Wolf Pack is a howling here at the, <laughs> the First Bank Center in Broomfield, Colorado. And Kansas City lines up in the picket fence formation right in front of the Dr. Hauschka jammer line. All right, here we get going again. Kelly Young up against Stella Italiana. And here we go. Excellent, we're trying the rugby scrum again. Stella Italiana not as good with this. She's used to being really kind of light on her feet, flying around here, jumping around. She's going to let Kelly Young try to claw her way through. So far pretty good for Ole on the defense, though. But Kelly, no, Kelly Young fights her way through. She is not your lead jammer. She had a minor track cut. Well, she was trying to get through, so Stella Italiana can still get lead jammer status. She's contending with Bella Fire at the front of the pack. Bella Fire sitting on her quite well, but outside the engagement zone, she gets lead jammer status. And Stella Italiana is going to keep going. Kelly Young did score. She got through for four points. So now Stella Italiana is pretty, pretty much stuck with trying to get through and getting another four points herself. Trying to make sure that she can staunch the bleeding here. Let's see how she plays this. She only has two blockers helping her out to four for Kansas City. An inside whip as Kelly Young has re-engaged the pack on her second scoring pass, despite not being lead jammer. And Stella Italiana calls it off. One point for Stella, another three for Kelly Young. Now, if you want to relive the magic... I do. Uh, ...right of this bout or any other such as Minnesota versus Charm or Kansas City versus Rose City, you can pick up a DVD for $15 each or 150 bucks will get you DVDs of this entire 12 game tournament. There's been a lot of classic matchups. This is, so, this is some of the best derby you're ever gonna see. These are the top teams in the world playing each other this weekend. 
And this jam is underway between At a Matrix and Case Closed. Yes. Both jammers getting tangled up before they cross the pivot line. Case Closed gets ridden out of bounds, but she recovers quickly. We have a lead jammer. It is At a Matrix. But she did get, she fell down and got recycled to the back. She's just going to call it off and reset. Yeah, she was having a little bit of trouble with her right knee guard, and that delayed her getting up just a little bit. Adamatrix has six out of seven times she's been up jamming. She has picked up lead jammer status. And looks like she's just going to do it again. She's going to grab it again. She's going to make another attempt here. She's keeping the star on her helmet. We're seeing the replay of the start of that jam. All the skaters getting tangled up. We're going to see trauma once again for Kansas City. She got lead jammer status the first time she again, was jamming. Once again, Adam Matrix staying in. 12 seconds in before the jammers start moving. Trauma making a run at it, contending with Sassy at the front of the pack. Sassy doing a nice job holding that line. She was the tournament MVP of the championship last year. A yeah. low block on Sassy. I think there's some people here that disagree with that call from the uh, from the words in here, but I think that uh, yeah, you know, it works out. She got quite low as uh, we get a lead jammer yeah. by Trauma. Immediately calls it off just in time. Yeah, Adam yeah. Matrix was just about to get into the back. You know, it's always it's it's got to be. There we go. There's you're gonna see this. What happened there? Ah, there was what people were looking at here. I think that uh, some of the uh, Oli fans thinks, thought that was going to be a back block action there, but uh, nope. The refs called it as a low block on Sassy. Blockers are supposed to get low. Exactly. <laughs> Sassy got really low there. As we line up again, we got Tannable Lecter for Oli. Trying to get around on the outside. She's up against Jade Lightning. Tannable Lecter gets through. Lee Jammer. Wow. Tannable Lecter. And Heifer. Holding off, Jade Lightning at the front. Now she's going to get some help from Scare to Death. It's always great when you can have a single blocker that does such a good job of holding somebody back until your your uh, compatriots have recycled. Oh, she went down on her nose, was holding her nose as she came back up. She seems to be somewhat okay as she's uh, re-engaging the blockers from Oli and outside the engagement zone. They're going to let her go. And Tannable Lecter... Doesn't seem real aggressive as a jammer right now. And now she's going to pick it up a little bit. Well, they're, they're 19 points ahead right now with two minutes left. Looks like she, did, no, did not pick up a single point that jam. So the score stays. Oldy Rollers 55, Kansas City 36. Kansas City hanging around right now. We're going to get a new jammer for Kansas City. The first time tonight, Bella Fire takes the jammer star. Doing an excellent job at the front of the pack. And now let's see what she's, she's going to do in jammer status. One minute, 33 seconds remaining on the period clock. But remember, all that matters now is that jam clock, which can go for up to two full minutes. Tannable Lecter took an intentional fourth minor for Oli. And Adam Matrix, it will be your jammer here. That makes four scoreless jams right now here. The, the, the score has not moved in the last four jams. Both teams seem content to let the clock run here. From the Kansas City standpoint, the score is close, and that's good. As uh, Oli is definitely the favorite in this matchup. And we're going to get this jam underway here. Adam H just gets ridden to the outside. She gets re recycled to the back of the pack. And now she approaches the front once again, contending with Bruise Her. And Bella Fire getting knocked out by Hockey Honey, but keeping it on. Back of the pack still, Hockey Honey doing an excellent job. Looks like, though, Adam Matrix has taken it. And she's your lead jammer. Hockey Honey doing an excellent job at the back of the pack, holding off Bella Fire. Very impressive blocking at the back. Adam Matrix laps her. And tried, it's getting through halfway through the pack now. Pretty nice hit from Eclipse from Kansas City, but then she gets blocked a little bit by Tannable Lecter. And Adam Matrix, nice move to cut through the pack. Five more points for the Oli Rollers as the half 
has expired. The jam clock will continue to its natural conclusion. Yeah, Annie Mall knocked her out, and then all of a sudden we thought that when there were two that were going to come through with Annie Mall and Bruiser, but it didn't work out that time. She had a little easier time taking on two KCRWs than one. Two points for Ole that time as clock expires in this first half. So the score at the half is going to be Kansas City Roller Warriors 36 and the Ole Rollers 62. So still within reach for Kansas City here. We've seen so many comebacks this game, or this, this tournament uh, weekend, so many. And sometimes they come through, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't. But uh, I, I, the second half is going to do just fine. And we've seen, <laughs> we've seen a lot of fight in Kansas City yep. this weekend. They've had to fight with Ole, I mean, had to fight with Rose City. They had a hard fight with Windy City. And now let's see what they can do in the second half here. Now let's take a look Ole at the Rose. stats here. Adam Matrix now leads Ole with 28. Jade Lightning with 19 for Kansas City. Stella Italiana and Tannibal Lecter both also with 14 points. And Case closed with eight. Kelly Young with six and Trauma with three. We're gonna throw to a sponsorship break. All right, folks, we are back. John Maddening with Bryant Mumble. We got about just over a minute before the second half begins. That first half featured 15, 15 lead jams from Ole and five for Kansas City. Six grand slams for Ole, two for KC, both from Jade Lightning. And on the plus minus tip, Adam Matrix leads with 18 and Tannibal with 14, both in the positive column. Adam Matrix with a total score of 28, leading Ole. And if you're looking at it, there's, this is a very, very clean game. There's not a single Kansas City player with more than two trips to the box. There are two Ole players with three, but the, you're seeing a lot of goose eggs here. That's something Kansas City's going to have to count on if they're going to want to come back into this one. They've got to stay clean, and they got to get some more penalties coming out of Ole. For oh. that to happen. Go ahead. And we would like to thank some of our event partners. Protect get Dent Mouth Guards, TIC State Skate Gear.com, Derba Life, Derby Skins, Union Vacations, Derbyology, Fast Girl Skates, Flat Track Revolution, Iron Doll, Bruised Boutique, Derbyville, and Sin City Skates. Thank you so much for helping us out in the 2011 WFTDA Big Five to set of tournaments. We had a question on Twitter at the hashtag talk the number two WFTDA. The question from Lisa Unfiltered. When the blockers line up in front of the jammer line, can the skater can the skates cross over or touch that line? The answer is no, they cannot. They'd get a minor penalty for that. If you notice, jammers take the intentional fourth minor because they're behind that line. And on the other side, jammers cannot be across that line, otherwise they would get a false start illegal procedure. And as we have the skaters beginning to line up on the Dr. Hauschka jammer line, the end of the safety check right now as the final two Ole players go to their bench. Refs are running a little bit behind there, but uh, there's, a, there's a lot to do. And there is a lot to do. A lot of pressure on these zebras. There's volunteer staff from all over the country. You know, 5 on 5 magazine is the official magazine of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. 5 on 5 magazine. You can check them out at 5on5mag.com. We got the thumbs up. Everything is in order, and we're about ready to go. We're going to have Adam Matrix for the Ole Rollers and Snot Rocket Kelly Young for the Kansas City Roller Warriors, who the Ro Ole Rollers have held in check. She's usually one of their... Main jammers for Kansas City, but only six points for Kelly Young so far. Yeah, it's only jammed six times. Adam Matrix, Blonde Bitchin, Wheeler with over ten each, but held her in reserve. She kept on that. Uh, she, I think she kept some uh, energy that she wants to expend now. So. Kelly Young, your lead jammer, only two blockers out there for Ole. Adam Matrix did clear the pack, so it's going to be a one pass here. Kelly Young gets through, and she did. She call it off. She did. So four points, trying to narrow that gap. Only a 22-point game here. Yep, that brings Kansas City up to 40. Ole Rollers with 62. Kansas City has two timeouts remaining, Ole with three. 
Outside the Lines is a new kind of t-shirt. You can check them out at the Spenlin booth or at spenlinmedia.com. We're going to see Tannibal Lecter here for the Oli Rollers. She's up against Jade Lightning. Two blockers out there for Oli right now. Two to three. The jam has begun. Oli and Kansas City both content to stand around for a while. And Hands on hips. <laughs> Kansas City is uh, instructed to move forward by their bench coach, Just Jim. Kansas City has bruise her in the box. Oli with liquor and split and scare it to death in the box. So a small advantage to Kansas City. Oh, but that changes to a big advantage as number nine, the jammer for Oli, Tannabel Lecter, goes to the box for a minute. She had a cutting the track, major penalty. And we got an intentional oh. destructing the pack on Sass. He's only one blocker out there for the lead jammer, Jade Lightning. So Kansas City with something going here. Blonde and Bitchin, the only blocker out there. I'm sorry, yes, that is Blonde and Bitchin. Good chance to rack up points here for Kansas City. They really, really, really need to capitalize on this. We are joined by more blockers from each team. Nice block by Liquor and Split for Oli Roller, slowing down the momentum here. And a directional minor on Scare it to Death for Oli. And another Oli Roller to the box as well. So again, only two blockers out here for Oli. That is Scare it to Death going to the box. 10 point jam so far for Jade Lightning and the Kansas City Roller Warriors. We've got a 12 point game here. And Trauma heads to the box for Kansas City as well. Oh, nice big hit there by Blonde Ambition. Kind of an upward thrust hit, but another four points is picked up by Kansas City. That's going to bring them up to 54. Oli Rollers at 62. That means it is an eight-point game. We're looking at a replay here as Tannibal Lecter getting tangled up with Jade Lightning. Puts and her hands on her back as she was trying to stop her own fall. And so three Oli players in the box. Sassy, scare it to death. And <laughs> there's a ref in the way. I apologize. Well, anyway, we got, the jam has begun here. It is case closed versus Adam Matrix for Oli. Once again, we're going to get another slow start here to this jam. Only eight points separate these two teams. And that was four grand slams for Jade Lightning. Four total. And I believe both blockers from Oli took a knee. Oh, okay, there was one more blocker up front establishing the pack speed. Case closed coming in through here with her crazy legs back and forth. Adam Matrix with some speed. Can, she's outside the engagement zone. She gets lead jammer status. Evolution with a slow push out, but it wasn't enough. Case closed still on her initial pass here. Oli getting back on track. Low block minor on Sassy. Oh, nice big hit there by Tannibal Lecter. But it's going to send her to the penalty box by the looks of things. But it's doing some damage as Adam Matrix now on a scoring pass. Picks up speed, one blocker to beat. Evolution gives her a little hit there. I'm sorry, that was, I believe, trauma. Give her a hit. little spinning booty block. As finally Case Close has made it through. But it doesn't matter because that's another five big points as she picks up the grand slam at a matrix. So Oli getting things a little bit back on track here as they extend their lead. CHE Sportswear has a new line of Derby lifestyle clothing. You can check it out online. CHE Sportswear. We see Adam Matrix and then jumps. <laughs> oh, you watch how Adam Matrix just turns on the speed, but Bruce her was in there nicely to slow down the momentum. You know, a lot of people just think of Oli as this speed skating only team, but they can take and give really, really big hits. Some nice blocks there by Kansas City, slowing her down though. And look at Kelly Young, she's got speed around the outside. Pure speed by Kelly Young. She's your lead jammer, Kansas City Roller Warriors. 
And the penalty box kind of emptying out slowly, slowly. And now we only have Tannable Lecter in the box. And Kelly Young on her scoring pass gets through, calls it off. The crowd getting behind Kansas City. Four points, bringing it up to 58. Nine point game. Ole Rollers lead 67 to 58. We're seeing the replay here of Kelly Young. Speed, that was her initial pass. Getting oh. around, sa no, that was her scoring pass. Getting around sassy. Trying to turn around, change direction a little bit, having a bit of trouble on her skates, and she's really used it to her advantage to get through. And this jam has begun. It is Trauma, the transfer from Cincinnati, against Liquor and Split for the Ole Rollers. We are now 10 seconds in. Nobody's moving. It's interesting. We've seen a lot of this in this match. Pretty much this one more than any other game. There's not been a lot of slow derby at all this entire tournament. It's been a lot more of the rugby scrum. There was one in Texas versus Gotham that went a minute 20 before the jam got going. <laughs> but so far, we uh, took about 35 seconds to get the jam going. But it is now underway. Liquor and split for Oli against Trauma for Kansas City. Picking up speed. Trauma's got the inside lane. Lead jammer, Trauma for Kansas City. And Annie Mall with a nice booty block, knocking down Liquor and Split. She's a good three quarters of the way back now. So it looks like this is going to be a one pass opportunity here for Trauma. And she gets through as the pack gets split. She's going to call it off. Four more points. Here comes Kansas City. The little engine that could <laughs> five-point game. All right, now that is four out of five lead jams for Kansas City in the second period. So really uh, pretty much the opposite of how they were playing in that first period. They're really capitalizing on the lead jams that they get and capitalizing on these only penalties. We got Adam Matrix lined up right now for the Ole Roller. She's up against Jade Lightning. This crowd is getting fired up here at the Bank One Center in Broomfield, Colorado. Colorado. I should say it properly. <laughs> I really should. Eh, why and, start now? And now the pack moving slowly. Very grinding pack here. Adam Matrix near the front. A wall versus wall. Four wall versus three wall. Slowly. She's kind of pushing around. Let's push to the outside. Now there's only two, three go by. Bruiser knocked her out, but... Oh, a track cut, and she is out on a track cut. So that is going to be a Kansas City power jam. There was some nice blocking by Hockey Honey so far in this jam, holding off Jade Lightning. But Jade Lightning gets through for lead jammer status. One pass. Did she, did she call it off? She did. She called it off the second she got lead jammer status. So Kelly Young is going to get the power jam here. <laughs> I'm not sure if Jade Lightning knew that uh, she was in a power jam situation. Rydell Skates are the proud partner and official skate of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Made in beautiful Red Wing, Minnesota, Rydell Skates. We just saw the replay there. As we're underway again, Kelly Young got some momentum, pulls the eagle, stays in bounds. Lead jammer, Kansas City. There was con some confusion there as Wheeler was trying to make it make it out onto the track, but the refs were not allowing her. Oh, cuts through. We've got a tie game, ladies and gentlemen, and Ole is one blocker short. They did not have enough blockers at the start of this jam, so they're going to go the full jam uh, blocker short. Kelly Young, Kansas City oh. takes the lead. The Kansas City Roller Warriors are in the lead right now. And still sitting down in the box, Adam Matrix can only sit and watch as another grand slam makes it through for Kansas City. 15 points so far for Kelly Young and the Kansas City Roller Warriors. Only two blockers out there, and they're not going to get another blocker back. Adam Matrix is standing. 20-point jam thus far for Kelly Young, and she has over a minute to go. Adam Matrix has re-entered the back of the pack, but I think, yes, she is going to make it one more time. Kelly Young is going to try to make it through one more time through the pack. Adam Matrix might be trying to do a little. Nope, she's going through. Collisions oh, between oh. jammers. Jammers collided. Low block on Adam Matrix. On Adam Matrix, and she's out again. 
And another five points for Kelly Young. 25-point jam. Kansas City takes the lead by 20 points. Kansas City celebrating. This crowd is going ballistic. 25-point jam. So let's look at Kelly Young doing her thing. Spin oh, move. Oh, look at that. Amazing work by Kelly Young. A huge jam to get things on the right track here for the Kansas City Roller Warriors. We got an, a timeout called on the track. We're going to discuss some things. <laughs> Five Stride Skate Shop is the preferred skate shop of Bonnie Thunders, Deranged, Psycho Babble, Susie Hot Rod, and Teflon Donna. That's really, that's, that's five skaters. That's an entire uh, pack out there. And uh, any one of them could kind of take you on. But Five Stride Skate Shop, if you want to be as good as those five top skaters in this game, you want to check out some great, great, great skating. Oh, dear. That's not what oh we want to see. Oh, that's not oh what we want to see. They love oh. Eclipse, which is understandable. My goodness. The crowd <laughs> fired up. We're looking at the replay again. Kelly Young going around the track. And now we cut to this. Yay. <laughs> I'm so happy you got me looking at the replay. That is three power jams for Kansas City this period. And six out of seven lead jams go to Kansas City. That is how these games turn around. We'd like to thank Rinkster. Rinkster.com is where we get our stats from. We're going to look more at this replay here. We're cutting back and forth into the replay. I think people are going to want to replay this anyway. <laughs> well, they could do that on the DVD. Absolutely. Which you can purchase for $15. You can take your league to the next level with Skate Court Roller Derby Flat Tracks Skate Court. That is a total of nine Grand Slams for Kansas City and seven Grand Slams for Ole in this game. The numbers are really are really saying it all. Kelly Young now the lead jammer for Kansas City with 39 points. 33 for Jade Lightning. Adam Matrix leads only with 33. And we are underway. The power jam continues as Adam Matrix is cooling her jets in the penalty box. Trauma is the jammer for the Kansas City Roller Warriors. All right, now that uh, officially what happened there was they thought it was the fourth minor in Adam Matrix, but it was not. Trauma is your lead jammer. So she does not have to, to serve that. So Kansas City keeps the momentum going here. Three to two in the pack. The pack moving pretty slowly for Trauma. As she hits the pack, it's taken out by Sassy. It's going to be, a, it looks like a low block, I mean a back block minor on Trauma as she collided with Sassy. Okay, the confusion was there was a, for, a possible fourth block for her fourth minor in there, but she went in for the low block major. That's what that delay so was. Yes, that was the confusion. Yes. And Trauma on her scoring pass, I believe. Yes, she is the lead jammer. Tannibal Lecter holding her up at the back of the pack. Adam Matrix has come out of the penalty box, turns on the Jets, gets through on her initial pass. Before anybody really even knew she was out there, she cut through the inside. And Trauma's going to call, call it, it off. off. I didn't even know if she had seen her, but just a very calm called it off. But four more points for Kansas City, extending their lead, their biggest lead of this match, 91 to 67. What a hit by Tannibal Lecter there. Jolting trauma. Hex chromosome is high altitude, high performance athletic apparel for the battle ready skater. Hex chromosome. We're going to see. Lining up on the Dr. Hauschka jam line there. Dr. Hauschka, the official bruise healer of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. We're going to see Jade Lightning for Kansas City against Adam Matrix. That last jam was the fifth scoreless jam in a row for Ole. Kansas City definitely has the momentum as Can Ole's losing a blocker right now to the penalty box. Number 33, Lil Tonka. The pack moving at a snail's pace, grinding right now. Animatrix gets through. She is your lead jammer for the Ole Rollers. And one blocker to beat for Jade Lightning. Sassy at the front of the pack. Very formidable blocker. Evolution gives her a nice shot for Kansas City. Here comes Animatrix on her scoring pass, juking her way through. 
and gets out in front of her to slow her down, but eventually makes it through Evolution, doing an excellent, excellent job of slowing her down. If you can't stop her, you got to slow her down at least a little bit. Here comes Oli getting things back on track. Gonna Five try, points. Trying to cut into this lead here. Jade Lightning still on her initial pass. Sassy just sitting up there on the front holding that line. And here comes Atomatrix on her second scoring pass. Kansas City able to get a nice three wall, but there's some room on the outside. Atomatrix trying to bash through there. Evolution holding her off Slowed on the inside. Down, goes down on one knee there. Bruise her look, went for a big hit, but she missed it for Kansas City. And, and that's going to end the jam. Three points for Ole. Kansas yeah. City celebrating that a little bit. Yeah, Ole still not out of this. Brings him up to 75 points. That's a 16 point spread right now. Kansas City leads 91 to 75, just over 15 minutes remaining. We're looking at Evolution taking out Adam Matrix. Around a turn and Bruiser just misses the huge hit. You're gonna wanna check out No Mercy, the new Derby photo book from Jules, Axel, Adams, Doyle, No Mercy. We're gonna see Tannibal Lecter jamming for Ole against Kelly Young. Three blockers out there for Ole. And Kelly Young gets ridden out of bounds. Pushed out, nice, oh, once again. Blonde Ambition really doing a one-woman army right at the front there. Kelly Young cleared, but Blonde Ambition was out of bounds when Kelly Young cleared the pack. So Tandem Elector gets lead jammer status. But null, null right there. Kansas said he'll take that, no problem. We're going to see a fourth minor on Tough Noogies of Kansas City. So they have two blockers in the penalty box. You can say hi to B-Train and Strychnine here in the First Bank Center. Wicked Skatewear. We see that how Kelly Young did not get lead jammer status as uh, she, she got knocked out of bounds by Blonde and Bitchin, and Blonde and Bitchin fell, so she was able to come in legally. However, she did not get the pass to get lead jammer status. Hockey Honey and Tannibal Lecter both in, in foul trouble here. Whoops. Hall Balls gets lead jammer status, but Tannibal Lecter hot on her tail right now. Only one blocker out there for Kansas City. There's going to be a line in the penalty box as Annie Mall has to wait her turn. And Hall Balls just stops. She's lead jammer. She got beat by uh, Tannibal Lecter, so she just waited a second and then called it off. But Annie Mall's going to have to stay out and block and wait in line to go to the penalty box. Yep, Tanny, uh, sorry, Tannibal Lecter and Hockey Honey both with five trips to the box for Ole, so they've really got to watch it in these last 13 minutes and 20 seconds. Once again, Kansas very, very low on penalties. Not a single skater over three. However, right now they've got some issues. Two in the box and one waiting to go into the penalty box. As we've got Kelly Young for Kansas City and Adam Atrix for Ole. This jam has begun. Everyone's sizing each other up. Adam Atrix has a run. Some room on the outside gets through. Lead jammer, Ole. Kansas City's Kelly Young getting pushed out, having to go to the back. Not to the back, almost all the way. Oh, no, she did get a minor. Oh, no, a major cut. She did get a major cut and had to run out, but she came through. So a huge opportunity for the Ole Rollers here. Adam Matrix on a power jam opportunity. And penalty issues for Kansas City. So there goes Adam Matrix on her scoring pass, five-point grand slam. That was actually her fourth minor that sent her to the box. And the Ole Jammer actually has three minors herself right now. So Adam Matrix has to skate very clean to keep this power jam going here. And a major forearm on Heifer. Heifer. Adam Matrix once through another five point grand slam. I believe that's 10 so far for the Ole Rollers. That brings it up to a six point differential and she's gonna go for more. Here comes Anna Matrix. She calls it off. 15 point jam. The power jam will continue into the next jam. And that makes it a one point game with just under 12 minutes to go. The crowd getting a little fired up. Roller Girl Skates, again, one of the fine sponsors of the Big Five tournament. The Women's Flat Track Derby Association thanks all of their sponsors. And for helping us put on this amazing, amazing set of five big tournaments. Stella Italiana going to keep things going here for the Ole Rollers and a power jam. Stella Italiana gets through. 
Kansas City having those penalty issues right now. They've been clean throughout most of this bout, but the last few jams, they've been struggling a little bit as Kelly Young's coming out of the penalty box. Stella Telly are on a scoring pass. They didn't see Kelly Young come in, so she got through pretty cleanly, and oh. she connects with Stella Italiana. Man, Stella Italiana is certainly the skater that you want to put out there when you have that blocker advantage because she's able to get through those opposing team members that much easier. She's not as big of a fighter as a lot of the other Oli Jammers, but she's able to just speed her way through, goes through, gets four points, calls it off, Oli again in the lead. And Oli at 90. No, Oli is at 100. Oli is at the center. No, nope, and it's been rolled back once again. Our apologies, ladies and gentlemen. 99 for Oli, 91 for Kansas City. 10 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Here we see Stella Taliana getting past to get those points. And that makes four out of the last five jams, lead jams for Oli. During that jam, Tough Noogies went to the penalty box for Kansas City. She picked up her fourth minor. I believe it was a destroying the pack minor. I'm not sure. Antic wheels, oh, antic boots, reckless wheels, and moto bearings revolutionizing roller derby, green monster roller sports. We currently have a timeout called by the Oli Rollers. Just over 10 minutes to go. An eight-point game. Elemental Technologies, the world's most powerful video processing solutions. Elemental Technologies, another fine sponsor of the WFTDA Big Five Tournament Series. We take a look at the Oli bench. We see Eric Scherneski, the bench coach for Oli. It's his birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. And now we're looking at Just Jim talking to his girls. Maybe they'll make him a cake. From the Kansas City Ruler Warriors. All right, Adam Matrix in plus minus has in the plus category with 13. And Kelly Young leads. Kansas at 11 positive. She also leads in total number of points scored for Kansas City, 39. But Adam Matrix really jumping out there. 61 points for Oli came from Adam Matrix. That's such a huge number. They're definitely leaning on Adam Matrix, who will be taking an intentional fourth minor wearing that pink helmet. You don't normally get to see her helmet. It's always covered <laughs> with a jammer star. It's nice. It's given given something to the fans. And it looks like we're about ready to go here. It's going to be trauma for Kansas City. And that's liquor and split for the Ole Rollers. Two to three in the pack in favor of Kansas City right now. Actually, now it's two and two. <laughs> As two done effort kind of gingerly steps across the outer line. This jam has begun. She has to enter at the rear of the pack. <laughs> it, was, it was hard at that point in time. This pack is not moving. They're just letting it wind here. We're 30 seconds into the jam. The crowd's starting to show their displeasure. And now Kansas City looks like they might start creeping forward, trying to split the pack. They do, and we're on illegal procedure. <laughs> Was that a false start? false start minor but oh trauma is your lead jammer for kansas city and a power jam here liquor and split getting called out heading to the box as is tuton heifer so not only are they in the power jam position but they are also now on a power jam so tannabel lecter is now at six penalty trips six penalty trips for that's right. lecter. and trauma on a power jam here she picked up a minor penalty. I believe she had a minor cutting the track. Only two blockers out there. Evolution going to try to break up that two wall. Able to get past Blonded Bitchin and then through past Adam Matrix. Five points for Kansas City. Here they come. Three point game here. And Kansas City slowing down that pack, allowing her to get through. Trauma is coming up in the back. Oh, runs right into. Nope. Directional minor. On Blonde and Bitchin. Blonde and Bitchin, that's right. Trauma getting through past Adam Matrix. And she's going to call it off there. She's going to carry the power jam into the next one. Lead change. Kansas City, 101 to 99. Looks like Adam Matrix and Heifer both standing up. No, I'm sorry. Adam Matrix and Hockey Honey both standing up. So that's ten se le less than 10 seconds remaining. That's actually liquor and split. In oh, Hockey I'm very Honey. sorry. 
So the power jam will continue for a few seconds for Kelly Young. We have an official timeout. A timeout called by the Ole Rollers. Adam Wheels are the official wheel of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association, Adam Wheels. We see Blonde and Bitchin with the directional minor connecting with Trauma. And then Trauma trying to get past Adam Matrix at the front of the pack. Able to Stand do so. In. Very nice. Dr. Hauschka once again the celebrating the fresh faces of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Dr. Hauschka, the official bruise healer of the WFTDA. Now, Trauma's plus or minus, she is at a plus 22. She is in the positive category here. We've got three Oli players in the box. Heifer, Hockey Honey, Liquor and Split. Two of them standing up right now, so it's going to be a very short minivan in Kansas City's uh, favor. And what's a minivan? Minivan is when you have three players from an, one team in the box and a full complement of, of players from the opposing team out on the track. So you have two from one team, five from the other. The two are the, the parents in the front of the van and the kids in the back are really doing whatever they can do. The parents can't stop them. The minivan the jam. Minivan. For Kelly Young getting sandwiched between Tamble Lecter and Sassy. So far they're doing a pretty good job, but she finds room on the inside. Kelly Young, lead jammer. And that makes 10 lead jams for Kansas City in the second period versus five for Ole. That delay was due to Ole. They wanted a, the minor track cut to be upgraded to a major, but the call will stand as a minor track cut. And so we continue here. Kelly Young calling off the jam, getting more points, three more points, extending their lead. It is a five-point game here. Oh, Six boy. minutes and 55 <laughs> seconds to go. This is crazy. I mean, seriously, this is nuts. You look at the path from Kansas City this weekend. It has been really impressive. Here comes Kelly Young. I believe this is her scoring pass here. Making her way through. Gets the turn. Spins around. Did she get that point on Sassy? I'm not sure if she did or not. And now we're underway again here. It is Hall Balls for Kansas City. Up against Adam Matrix for Ole. Hall Balls at the back. Adam Matrix trying to get through that front wall for Kansas City. It's wall versus wall. Kansas City's wall in the front. Usually that favors the jammer in the front. Bella Fire trying to hold her off, but Adam Matrix gets through. She is your lead jammer for the Ole Rollers. Kansas City's front wall was not able to recycle in front in time, and this they were stuck with just one player in front of Adam Matrix. Adam Matrix is juking away. One blocker to beat Bella Fly Fire at the front. And Can Adam Matrix get past her? Hall Balls gets sent out on her fourth minor. So that is an Ole power jam right now. Certainly not what Kansas City wants. And that's tying it up there. Adam Matrix ties up the game at 104. And she's got plenty of time on this power jam to rack up more. Right through the middle. Adam Matrix, 10 points so far, retaking the lead for the Ole Rollers. Four on four in the pack, I do believe. And now, Oli has isolated on one of the blockers in the backs. That's going to split the pack. That gets Adam Matrix through. Grand slam, five big points for Oli. That's going to extend their lead. Big jam here for Adam Matrix and the Oli Rollers. Now, Kansas City able to take the front, claim the front of the pack, move things along a little bit. That's going to end the jam there. But the Ole Rollers retake the lead, 114 to 104. We've got 444 left. And Hall Balls is going to start that jam in the box. She is standing, so there's less than 10 seconds remaining in her time. That was a 15-point jam for Ole, bringing them right back into the lead. 114 for Ole, 104 for Kansas City. Four minutes, 26 seconds remaining in this game. That was a huge jam for Ole, and At Stella Italiana going to keep things going here for the Ole Rollers. And Hall Balls is released from the penalty box, the jammer for Kansas City. 
So uh, Stella Italiana with a nice move. Evolution trying to hold her off. Stella Italiana does get lead jammer status. She does get recycled back in a little bit, but with a nice move, she, oh! she went to the inside. Wow. She fought that with everything she had. I don't know how she stayed up, but now she's lead jammer, and now she'll be eligible to score her next time through. Stay up. I don't know how she did not, how she stopped herself from coming back in front, but just some amazing, amazing footwork there. Amazing ability by Stella Italiana. The hall balls, the jammer for Kansas City, still on her initial pass. Wow, Kansas City totally concentrating on knocking Stella Italiana out of bounds here, thinking that's the way to take her out. Eclipse Again, trying to hold that front line. Doing a nice job, but Sassy opens the door for Stella Italiana. Blonde Ambition in the box for Ole. Annie Mall and Evolution in the box for Kansas City. Evolution sitting on six right now. Blonde Ambition at five. Hall Ball's having a really hard time getting through this pack for Kansas City. Tries to connect with Stella Italiana, but Stella, here comes Stella one more time. And Blonde Ambition has been released back in. Hockey Honey, who's also out here blocking, is also sitting at six, so she's got to be very, very careful. There's Eclipse again at the front of the pack. She's Stella able to get through. Five more points. Eight points so far on this jam, extending the lead for Ole down the stretch. 121 to 104. Two minutes are up. That ends the jam. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. And Hockey Honey has hit her seventh trip to the box, her seventh penalty minute, and she is being escorted out back to the Ole penalty. We're going to see Stella Italiana here doing amazing things on skates. I don't know how she didn't come that. back in. Oh, so close. And then she's able to stay up, turn around, and oh, my goodness. How did she not fall? That was amazing. <laughs> yes, I said amazing. All right, Hockey Honey, once again, that she was sent back to the Ole locker room. She cannot participate in the rest of this bout. Two minutes, 22 seconds remaining. And Tannable Lecter, another skater with six trips to the box. Evolution for Kansas, another player with six trips to the box. So these are players that are going to, are they going to be tentative because it's their last, you know, the last two minutes? Or are they going to go all out? We'll see. I feel like Kansas City cannot be tentative here as Kelly Young going to take the Jammer Star for Kansas City. It's going to be Adam Atrix. It's ace versus ace. Both these skaters leading their team. 76 points for Adam Atrix in this match. Evolution in the box for Kansas, but she is standing up. Hockey Honey, no, I'm sorry. Tannibal Lecter is in the box for Ole. Another Ole player was put in for, for Hockey, Hockey Honey. But once again, the refs are in exactly the wrong position for us to see who that is. <laughs> and we are underway. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go here. In this amazing semifinal match. Adam Matrix room on the inside. Whoa. Did she get through? Lead jammer Adam Matrix for the Ole Rollers. Trying to nail it down here. Blonde and bitchin' holding off. Kelly Young. Now Sassy, the last line of defense, holding her off. Nice defense here by Ole. Only two blockers out there doing the job. Adam Matrix kind of signaling back to her bench there. Holding up a one. Killing clock is the main thing they should be doing right now as they have a 122 to 104 lead. Yeah, certainly. This is just kind of, <laughs> yeah, there she goes. She calls it off. Minute 30 remaining in the game. Holy Roller is picking up another couple points, bringing them up to 124. So it is a 20 point game. Kansas City with 104, Oli with 124. Just Jim of the Kansas City Roller Warriors, the bench coach, calls the last timeout. So one minute 24, that's what's on the game clock. Kansas City cannot stop it, but Ole can. They have two timeouts. So 124 to 104 in favor of the Ole Rollers. 20 points here. Now Adam Matrix, she's been out there so many times. 19 jams, she's picked up 78 points for Ole. 78 points. That is such a large number. <laughs> Huge you Herculean effort. You didn't think we could count that high. For Adam Atrix. And only three trips to the box for Adam Atrix. So very, very clean play, very wa you know, watching herself, wanting to make sure that she plays clean, that she doesn't get knocked out to the box because that only hurt her. You, know, you saw what penalties were doing. 
to look, Kansas City at the end. We're looking at a replay here at a matrix lining up that wall and Tannable Lecter. We're going backwards now. Well, Tannable Lecter was going to do something. Now Animatrix's plus minus has gone up to 30, so that she has scored 30 points over what she has allowed. Trauma is plus 22, and she has 21 points. And we're about so, really. ready to go. <laughs> Here we go, Trauma versus Animatrix. 20-point lead for Ole Rollers. Can Kansas City put together something? Trauma gets through. They have no timeouts. They're going to have to just keep going here. Trauma is your lead jammer. Kansas City going to try and hold off Adam Matrix with everything they have. So yeah. far, so good. That front wall is just, oh, and she's sent out. She is sent out. Adam Matrix has been sent out on a track cut. Oh, Trauma did as well. Oh. Trauma's going to the box. Back block on Trauma, so we're going to get a jammer swap. That was her fourth minor, so she's going to the box as well. But again, it's going to be just a few seconds as that she has to spend in there. But every second counts as Oli has that 20-point lead. And she's standing up already, ready to re-enter. Adam Matrix just eyeing the scoreboard. She got the go-ahead, so she's back in. Lost lead jam status, so this is going to go for another 50 seconds. Whistles being blown. Things moving very casual, considering it's the last jam of this match. Evolution rides Adam Matrix out of bounds. And gets sent to the box for her troubles. I believe that's her seventh. And a power oh. jam for Adam Matrix. And, yep, and a track cut on. Yep, that's just going to seal the deal track cut on trauma to end this game the game clock has expired the period clock is just going to run Seven, out here yeah, 17 seconds remaining in the jam nothing that kansas city can do the Oli rollers are going to hang on and advance the championship round here bella fire the only blocker out there for kansas city tannable lector has filed out of the game she looks happy about it absolutely and really that's it ladies and gentlemen they have done an excellent job, both of these teams. It was amazing. I mean, the entire time, this a lot of people thought this was going to be a foregone conclusion, but by no means for a lot of this game, especially in the second half, Kansas City totally controlling Ole. Kansas City with so much fight gave it to the Ole Rollers, but the Ole Rollers hang on. They are victorious, 124 to 104. We now know the championship match will be between Gotham and Ole.